play of the game. How's it going guys? This is Twister and today I'm back with another GTA Online video uh, with the new Vehicle Vendetta Adversary Mode because this one is actually pretty fun and I hope you really enjoyed that like play of the game intro clip. If you guys follow me on Twitter you probably know how much I love Overwatch so I thought I'd make that pretty nice little edit at the start. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. That was really a lot of fun to make. And uh, yeah, this new adversary mode Vehicle Vendetta is actually a lot of fun to play. Now we had two adversary modes before it. There was Turf Wars and Juggernaut. Wasn't really going to do videos on those two because honestly they weren't really that good to play. Didn't really enjoy playing them that much in my opinion. Juggernaut was alright, Turf Wars was uh, pretty underwhelming. But this new one, Vehicle Vendetta, is actually a lot of fun. It's just so much chaos. It's literally just a game mode where you blow everything up with vehicles. Obviously you saw me in the tank. Uh, with that play of the game intro you got rockets bombs more explosive you got guns on the front of your car which is something that if you didn't know it took me like two games to figure out that you could use uh, l1 on ps4 or lb on uh, xbox to actually shoot the guns out the front of the car i went two games without knowing that and wondering why the hell people were shooting mini guns out the front of their cars i thought it was a power up and that I, and that i was just never getting the power up but then i figured out it was an actual weapon that you were equipped with so it is a lot of fun it's just like a massive team deathmatch power play sort of thing because you've got all the different power-ups but with vehicles which is really cool and there's a uh, there's two different types of maps you've got the uh, like the stunt setup maps with all the stunt props that are uh, like set up in the sky and then you've also got the street map so at first I thought it was kind of weird that they combined the stunt maps like they were pretty similar to the deadline maps and then also combining those with the street maps as well um, which I thought was pretty weird, like the street maps are uh, a lot bigger as well. Like there's one in Polito Bay, where like the whole uh, the whole of the town in Polito Bay, which is quite a large area for a new adverse mode, it's only 10 players and to be honest, that's probably my biggest complaint about this mode, as it is with a lot of other adverse modes unfortunately, like why does it have to be limited to 10 players? Again, because you've got so much chaos going on and even on some of the bigger street maps, it would just be so much better with 16 players, it would be so perfect, just so much chaos, explosions everywhere, everybody trying to blow everyone else up, and I just think limiting it to 10 players, as is the problem with so many of the adversary modes, it just sort of, I don't know, makes it a lot less fun when you don't have, uh, when you don't have so much chaos going on, especially on the bigger maps as well. But as I said, the mode itself is extremely fun, it is like a vehicle deathmatch, but with all the power play power-ups, uh, you've got like the the standard rockets that you get in uh, in like races, the the pickups. Uh, you've got a bomb which you can drop behind you, which will detonate after a short amount of time. And you've got loads of others you can actually turn into the deadline Chitaro bike and blow the people up with the uh, with the line that trails from the uh, from the behind of your bike. You've got the tank as well, which I'm sure you've seen. You can go on some crazy sprees with the tank, like. That, I got a six man uh, like a six man spree at the start which is it's pretty difficult to do especially if you get uh, one of the street maps because there's a lot of cover and even then I still managed to go on like a six man rampage with the tank so there's those are like the main offensive abilities that you got to use to to get kills but there's also like disruption abilities where you can flip the controls of your team which is really frustrating so trying to accelerate will become reverse and trying to steer left will become steering right which gets really confusing and that really frustrates me especially when on one of the stunt maps you're trying to drive around you get flipped and all of a sudden you're gonna uh, steer off the side of the off the side of the map you've also got a ghost ability which will turn your car into like the non-contact form so you can't take any damage and then a, a jammer ability and a detonator ability which is I think it just removes uh, some of the parts of the stunt map so people can fall through them and die and overall it is a lot of fun and uh, it is also again usually when Rockstar uh, release some new adversary modes into the game it's double money and RP so uh, a pretty decent way to earn some money right now and as well as that there's also double money in stunt races and 25% extra bonus money from uh, exporting uh, the new import export vehicles you know from your vehicle warehouse 
So, you know, that's quite a few decent ways to make some money just playing through the adversary mode, stunt races, and exporting cars. And uh, it's all a lot of fun, it's all focused on the cars, which is probably my favourite part about this game. So having all three of these money bonuses is, uh, is pretty decent, so that's going to wrap up this video. Just wanted to do uh, a video on this new adversary mode because it is a lot of fun. If you guys haven't tried it out, make sure to do so. And remember that you do have guns on the front of your car, which is something I wish I figured out sooner. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, make sure you leave it a like rating. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I will hopefully see you all in my next video. See you later, guys.